Dang, this bat sucks. <laughs> PR right there. What's up guys, we got Blake here today. We're gonna to be reviewing the unreleased Mach AI. This is the Wrong's One Piece Alloy BB Core Bat. Right off the bat, it definitely feels very balanced, very light swinging. All right, Blake, what do you think of the feel of it, look of it, and everything? I think it looks pretty sweet. I like how the grip's a little thinner. Yeah, the mint color's just really sweet. I think, I think everybody's gonna like it. Oh, this bat sucks. And that's <laughs> That, that hurt, and I barreled it. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, getting up there a little bit. He, big barrel. Consistent. The swing weight's a lot, like, I don't know, it's more balanced. <laughs> Haven't missed a barrel yet with it. Yeah, it's definitely, swing weight's definitely a lot more balanced. I would buy it just for the swing weight. I don't know, it just swing, it swings so light. Wow. After the first swing, I thought this bat was gonna be terrible, and now I buried, barreled almost every ball, and I take that back. It's pretty good. 82 at 30. 298. 84. PR right there with the mark. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are enjoying the bat review so far of the Rawlings Mach AI. I bet you weren't expecting that after that first swing from Blake, right? We'll get into Jackson's swings in just a minute here, but I wanted to announce the winner for last week's Velo Shades giveaway from the Voodoo Atlas review and comparison. Make sure to go check out that video at the end of this video here. But the winner for a free pair of Velo Shades and one of our awesome subscribers and commented on that last video is Zachary Tell 4704. Zachary, we're gonna message you on YouTube right here. We will get all of your information and ship you a pair of Velo Shades for free. So please don't fall for any of those scams saying you won something and they need shipping money. If you ever win something from us, we will ship it to you free of charge. So Zachary Tell, 4704 right there. You are the winner from last week's video. To have a chance to win this week, all you need to do is make sure you're a subscriber to the channel here. Comment below, let us know what you think of this bat review. Let us know what you think of the Rawlings Mach AI. And let us know what other bat reviews you want in the future and if these are helping you guys out. So remember, every full bat review we do, we will be giving away a pair of Velo Shades. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to never miss one and make sure to comment. Now let's get back to the video, see how Jack swings this Rawlings Mach AI. All right, so first things to the Mach AI, this is Rawlings bat. Off the bat, I don't really like the taper of this bat, but I like the thin handle. A uh, little bit on the hands there, but yeah, definitely has a good amount of pop off the hands. Big I gave your glasses right one now. more swing before they fall off your hat. That was a good barrel. That was a good barrel there. Pretty good there, 84.2. Oh, okay. Off to a good start. Pretty good barrel, a little bit off the hands. Felt a little bit of ring just to my top hand. Pretty good there. Definitely barrels a lot more than the Mav. The swing weight's good. 83.7. It's a good round with the Mach AI there. Um, it's definitely a really light swinging bat. Really like the weight of it. Has a really big barrel and just definitely barrels a lot of balls. Real quick before you get into the final thoughts of the Mach AI, Make sure you use code JAX10 for 10% off your Bruce Bolts. All right, Jax and Blake, you guys just finished swinging the Rawlings Mach AI. Jax, start with you. What did you think of the swing weight? What did you think of the feel? What did you think of the barrels? What do you got? Um, for the swing weight, I really like the swing weight. It's definitely a light swinging bat. The barrel is very forgiving. I think off the hands, it's really good. And off the end, it's really good. 
the power for me, I would say it's, I would say it's all right. Blake, what are your thoughts? Uh, first swing, I didn't think the bat was gonna be very good. Then I got in swinging, and I probably hit like 15 barrels in a row. One of them being my PR by two miles an hour. I mean, so, correct me if I'm wrong. Your first swing, you basically was it trash or it sucked <laughs> or what was it? Yeah, I I, I hated it after my uh, after my first swing. About so what was swings. that first swing? Did you get it off the hands and ring you up? What was it? No, or you I just think barreled I, it pretty good. I think it? I got it off the hands and saw the exit velo and thought that I barreled it because it was it was 80. Yeah. Then once I started hitting a barrel, I was working 80. 80 so you you changed your mind real quickly on it. Huh? Yeah, very quickly. So what do you think of the feel of it, like swing weight? It's really like swings light and it honestly. It's comparable to the Voodoo, maybe swings a little bit lighter than the Voodoo. Yeah? yeah. Jax, you agree? Yeah, I agree. Yeah? All right, and how about the look of the bat? Blake, we'll start with you. What do you think of the mint color? I think it looks pretty sick. Yeah? Yeah. If the, if the grip was pink, it'd be really sweet. Jax, what do you, what do you got on the actual color, the uh, mint my color? My thoughts on this bat, it's definitely the best looking 2024 bat. I think the goods come close, but I think this is definitely the best looking bat for 2024. Really? Big thanks to Blake for coming out here, doing this review, so we can have two different swings, comparing the same bat, and getting different thoughts. And as always, big shout out to Headbanger Sports for us up with this bat to do this review. Comment down below what bat you want to put the mock AI against. We'll see you guys in the next video.